I was not there when my house fell to ruin. Defectors join the coward Kel Misrax in his worthless house of light and fled to the last city. They devoted themselves to their oppressors, the Guardians and their great machine. There is no greater shame. I tried to claim stasis for my people. But I was judged, bound, abandoned by the same power I sought to command. Some chains cannot be broken. Or so they would have you believe. Thanks for helping your old pal Drifter with this delicate situation, hero. I had a delivery headed toward the last city when these house salvation goons hijacked it. Now I just need you to get in there and expedite my shipment. I'll let you know what we're looking for once you're inside. salvation for skimming a little cream off the trade routes. Couldn't have been easy after the head honcho got turned into a popsicle. But I didn't think they'd have the guts to try something like this. Once we get my cargo back, you'll see what I mean. Getting warmer. Our misappropriated shipment is just ahead. Spirit, boss. I finessed the Guardian into doing the actual rescuing. You let the Guardian see me like this? Well, that words once I'm out of here. About that. First, let's discuss the matter of our hazard pay. What? We had a deal. I will not be leveraged by an amateur extortionist. Sure thing, boss. We'll just ship you back to the Tangled Shore. Queen Mara's got a handsome bounty on your ugly mug. Could be quite the payday. Tell you what. How salvation commandeered my old catch. If you can fight your way there, it's yours. My associates will join you along the way. Give them a lift, and we'll call it even. <laughs> Hear that, hero? We got ourselves a new ride. Just gotta break it out of impound. There's something you should know. I overheard some drags talking. Well, you were hiding in your kennel? <laughs> How salvation is rallying. Someone's kicked the hornet's nest. They're looking for something left over from the Dark Ages. Sounds ominous, but I'm sure the Guardian can handle it. That's Hall 6, one of my trusted associates. He's deadly with a wire rifle. Useful if you're pinned down. Sounds like you found my remaining crew. Help them clear out this rabble. Meet the rest of my associates. They're no good to be dead. Make sure to bring them back alive. You are 
aren't lying about these house salvation jokers. They're all riled up. What'd you say they're looking for? Relics. Antiquities of some kind. Mm, that's awfully esoteric for a bunch of rubes like these. They gotta be taking orders from someone. Who the hell's calling the shots around here? That must be the big boss in charge. Take him out, hero! Oh, hell. The witness must have broken Aramis out. No wonder how Salvation's scrambling. So, the ship stealer is back in play. The artifact she's after. Price of her freedom, I bet. Oh, the massive, the resale value. Luckily, we got a clean ship and a dirty crew to chase her with. Do me a favor, Guardian. Don't let this clown pilot my catch. Come on now, Spider. I'll treat her like she was my own. That's what I'm worried about. Only thing you better worry about is the welcome you'll get back in the last city. Let's ride, Guardian! Careful with that cargo, or I'll dock you myself! Then it's true. Aramis has broken free. Her name still carries weight. The old crews now really under her command. The old crews? I've read about them. The catch killers and skiff blades. The... What is the human word? Pirate. Aramis thawing out is bad news, sure, and she's looking for something. But luck's on our side for a change. This little trinket is exactly what we need. What's that? That's access, little sister. You hold this key, and any door they close, you can open. If you can find it. <sighs> we must not take the old crews lightly. The full vanguard should be rallied to deal with these outlaws. Yeah, that's a tough sell. Zavala's preparing for Kallus' next move. Ikora's got her hidden looking for Aramis, but they stick to the shadows. That leaves us. Father, we should do whatever we can to help. And there's so much exhilarating knowledge to be gained from these pirates. They may hold antiquities from the time of the whirlwind. more serious than you realize. You ain't wrong. We all know how dangerous Aramis can be. It's your call, hero. Well, anchors away. Ready when you are, Captain. Scribe of House Light, daughter of Mizrak Skell, whom you already know. Oh. Yes. Mizrax and I are well acquainted. I have heard the stories. Have you now? Do you hold a title, sir? I've heard what they call you. Oh. Uh. I hold a great many things. Spider is better than Fallen, and no worse than your old man letting the Guardians call him Mithrax. <laughs> yes, some of them struggle to pronounce his name. Yes, it's surprising what they struggle with. Uh, 
present company excluded, of course. Oh, yes, this Guardian is quite competent. I still hope I will be able to assist somehow. Very plucky of you, Ido. How does your father feel about your involvement? It seems these old pirate crews have put a touch of fear into him. Yes, he seemed apprehensive. But I am a scribe. Chronicling our history is part of my position. And deep down, he must be as excited about the adventure as any of us. Oh, I'm positively thrilled. Now, little scribe, if you'd be kind enough to uh, excuse us, the Guardian and I have business to discuss. Of course. Welcome to the last city. May the light provide. <laughs> May the light provide. <laughs> Mizrax, you old charlatan. You built quite the house of cards here. <laughs> Seems like only yesterday I was in the Tangled Shore, uh, trading in Seraphite and Phase Glass. Uh, now, I'm nestled in the bosom of the Traveler. Oh! Funny where owing a debt to Drifter can get you, huh? And let's keep the details of my ignominious rescue between us. Now then, it sounds as though you're off to cross swords with Aramis and the old crews. Misrax seem none too pleased about that. I wonder why. I'll tell you what, my friend. I'll let you keep using my ship while you go digging for secrets. I think you've got the steel for it. Now go show those pirates what happens when they cross Spider. While you're gone, I'll gather some accoutrements no budding captain should be without. No need to thank me, Guardian. I only ask that you keep my wanton generosity to yourself. I have a reputation to maintain. Crew is fleeing. 
Guardian, I thought the Elixni had moved on from such senseless brutality. It seems I was mistaken. Aramis has awoken and has summoned the old crews to aid her. Regrettably, it falls on you to stop them. Before that, you will require a star chart and a captain's atlas. Spider had these antiques in his collection. Use them if you must, but remember that you are a guardian chosen by the light. These pirates, brutal remnants of our past, are not. Aramis chose to ally with them for a reason. They know the stars in a way even how salvation does not. I fear that Aramis may seek... <sighs> Pay me no mind. Raise arms against these pirates and discover the truth for yourself. we handled has some loot buried out here. Find a path to the drill site and destroy any who oppose you. Ah, there's the Misrax I used to know. Electronic interference slows our efforts, eliminates our opponent's jammer. Defector, but from which 
Shard, I couldn't tell you. This is a dangerous undertaking. These lairs are frequented by many uh, unsavory types. Speaking of, that log has a reputation for heavy-handed brutality. I say you show her a little brutality of your own. <laughs> Not just her life. The pride is on the line. The headless crew is a worthless one. Remove her from the board. Antiquities indeed. So this is where the trail leads. Well then, we best keep these relics out of Aramis's hands. Don't you agree? This would make a wonderful addition to my collection, whatever it is. But I imagine you'll hand it over to Misrax and that nosy daughter of his for the good of the elixir. Fine. Valard won't be the only one looking for a relic like this. Let's hunt them down before Aramis does. Hello, Guardian. My father and I are already studying the relic you reclaimed from the pirates. I am eager to learn the nature of the strange energies that seep from within. I was thrilled to aid in your engagement with Aramis's fleet. I hope my support was beneficial, although I admit I am unused to the rigors of combat. While I did study with the Awoken Techians, gunplay was never a part of the syllabus. I am proud of the progress we made together. Thank you for including me as part of your crew. I must continue my studies. May the light provide. Here for a favor. If you're eager to deal death, I'm happy to help. Mizrax Kel of House Light. This is Aramis Kel of House Salvation. We need not be enemies, but you intend to make one of me. Very well. I have been restored by a power too great to oppose. More powerful than the traitor machine that abandoned us, and the machine spawn who did not hesitate to kill me. But we both know humiliation, don't we? You live in the shadow of those who have destroyed the dream of a unified Elixni. They have our people's blood on their hands, and you scrape at their feet. It is shameful. You are shameful. Where is the Misrax of legend? Feared by so many. Is he trying to outrun? 
overrun his past. We know this is impossible. I am told you have a daughter. Does she know who you are? What are you teaching her? And what lies will she repeat? What won't you tell her when you look into her eyes? You think I am without remorse. But I do not wish to harm my fellow Elixni. But if you want a fight, then I will give you one. Rally your crew. Take what you believe is yours by right of plunder. I don't expect any better from you. Guardian, the artifact you recovered from the Pirate Lord's hideout has incredible research potential. I'll leave records of my findings here. Come by after you recover a new reliquary to learn what I've discovered. Spectral analysis indicates trace amounts of darkness energies radiating from within the vessel. However, the reliquary is made of a super dense substance, like a lead barrier around uranium. This leads me to deduce that the relic itself is likely quite powerful, and potentially harmful if handled directly. Guardian, I... I greet you in the light, and yet, I feel adrift in shadow. Idle and I studied the artifact you claimed from the pirates, and it emanates pure darkness. It is an object pulled from Elixni legend, and I fear it is not the only one of its kind. The old crews fought and died for these relics, believing they could bestow power. The very power the great machine withheld. That is why Aramis enlisted their help. She seeks the relics, and pirate legends hint at where they may be hidden. And if her task is at the command of the witness, Aramis cannot be allowed to claim the powers within. If she does, all will fall to corruption. You must find them. You must. their treasure on Earth was quite clever. Who would think to look here? It's been sitting right under our noses this whole time. Now let's sniff out this loot, hero. Your crewmate gives you power, Guardian. It looks like someone's trying to stop our drill. Get out there and wreck their jammers. Escort the reclaimed treasure to our ship, Guardian. These fools should know better than to sabotage our operation. Clear them out. Those crazy wretches are on their way in. I love those guys! Your bundle friend will make your precision sharp more... Precise! Your crewmate gives you power, Guardian! 
Good job, hero. Watching you snatch up that loot reminded me of Gambit. I never get tired of watching people bank those moats. You know, Drifter, with the armies you assemble for Gambit, you could be very political. I leave all that to the Vanguard. I ain't the man to tell anyone what to do. Of course. But the time may come for you to step up. Hey, hero. Looking to grab another relic? Then may I interject? Be my guest. The commander of this band of pirates is named Erix, and he's widely known as an expert marksman. I would not stand still long enough to test this reputation. There he is! Take him down! And retrieve the relic! Good job, Guardian. You too, little sister. Read about this in one of your books? No, I didn't. Isn't that exciting? I know. What are you doing? Aiding Drifter and the Guardian. We have collected another relic before it was able to come into Aramis Gal's possession. Your help is needed in studying the relics, not in our search for them. If I can render assistance, then I should do so. Let us speak privately. Very well. Huh. Glad I stayed out of that. Anyway, good job. Let's get this treasure tucked away. Misrax, my old friend. There's a matter I wish to discuss with you. My people's concerns are my own. I will listen. I hoped you'd say that. Rumor has it your new crew has been bringing back delightful baubles pulled from the old shores. Are you asking for a share? Huh? Do you think me so petty? We're on the same side here. We have our eyes on the same horizon. Those relics resurfaced for a reason. The power belongs to us. We could have everything this time. We need only take it. Your words are careless. What? A guardian? <laughs> a trusted accomplice. No. I did not imagine you would speak like that where I might hear you. Come now, Mishraj. I know you. Think of your house. Think of your daughter. We could have everything Eremus wants. Wouldn't that be some lovely payback? Huh? You will leave that behavior in the past. You will not speak of it here beneath the great machine, or I will silence you. Uh, there's no call for that. Do you hear me, Ruckus? I hear you. Never summon me like this again. Get out. We're closed. Ah, hey there, hero. <laughs> Sorry, getting a little swept up in all this adventuring. I'm on debrief duty while your Elixni buddies are busy with the relics you got from Aramis's crew. Ido's researching how to tap into their power. The kid's thorough, I'll give her that. She thinks something's hidden inside them. I swear she was about to crack one open before Mithrax stopped her. Now me? I took one look and knew those things were bad news. Gave me a little shiver. 
Reminds me of something. From a long time ago. Huh. Maybe I should do a little research of my own. I'm eager to continue our friendship. Here for a favor. How can the Vanguard help? Pursuing relics of power. Summon your crew. 
And a request, please, as a favor to me. Do not involve Idol in your violence against the old crews. She is brave and curious, but does not yet understand the brutality of the world. There are pain truths in our history. I should have told her earlier, before all this. But I must learn before I can teach, and for that I need time. Disrupt Aramis's crews, and stop her from collecting the relics. Some mistakes must remain in the past. Who can say? 
And after all, who am I to question the Kel? Hm. Spider, I will find out what's going on here. Spider, there are questions my father refuses to answer. Have you seen him act this way before? You two were friends once. Even if Misrax had friends back then, I wasn't among them. I couldn't possibly speak to his behavior. You're being evasive. Oh, evasive? I prefer to think of it as coy. Well then, your father was unpredictable. We could have had everything we wanted if he listened to me, but he always knew better. Uh, look at him now. Cal of a house holed up inside the city. Picking over ruins, pretending he's content in the shadow of the great machine. We were offered scraps and we took them. Oh? Is that ingratitude I hear? I do not call the truth ingratitude, but enough of who my father is. Who was he? I expected this from Spider, but not from you. I am simply performing my duties as Scribe of House Light. I will gather knowledge regardless of who would keep it from me. Ruckus, I told you not to speak of this. Do I have to dock your tongue? Father! I apologize for the Kells' behavior. Apology accepted. I see now. You're afraid little Ido will take off those rose-colored glasses. <laughs> Such a delightful human face. <laughs> and what will she see when she looks at you then? Do not speak to my daughter again. Oh, don't worry about me. Though, I'm not the only one who remembers. Sooner or later, she'll learn the truth. But I'm sure it will all work out. After all, what is it you say? The light provides. Hey there, Captain. Figured I'd better take over while Mithrax is preoccupied. I heard he's dealing with some family issues. From what I could gather, he tried to shut Ido out from all this pirate business. Might have lost his temper. Definitely lost face. <sighs> Poor Ido. What do they say? Never meet your heroes? Kinda tough when your hero's your dad. No surprise to me Mithrax has got some secrets. Everybody's got something that keeps him up at night. Now I'm sure they'll work it out. Folks have a way of putting aside their differences when the world's at stake. <laughs> Just look at me and Zavala. Or me and Ikora. Or me and... anybody, really. What catches your eye? Shall we make a deal?
kept this part quiet. I think half of those pirate lords didn't know what they had to begin with. They knew these things were powerful, but not why. Crack one open and you'd find a finger bone or a knot of old hair. Strong stuff. Smells awful. Ask me how I know. I've been holding on to them, but I figured you might want them. Hmm. Why? I thought to myself, you know who might like something strange and unsettling? Eris Morn. A gift, then? Well, yeah, Moondust. You could call it a gift. The sentiment is appreciated. But no. You know what you possess. These relics are not simple curiosities to be hoarded. They might serve a greater purpose. And what's that? Am I your conscience? Discover this for yourself. They are reliquaries. Objects of great power. The darkness just beneath its skin. Do you feel it? It ruptures, flows, envelops. Ooh, I like listening to you talk. And I enjoy your silence. I've been trying to determine what exactly is inside these reliquaries. But I dare not open them. The resulting surge of darkness energies would have unforeseeable effects on my physiology. However, I did manage to secure a centuries-old Vanguard mission report from the Cryptarchy. The reporting Guardian said that Elixni crews were infighting over what he called, quote, chunks of rotting meat. The report is of dubious quality, but it did make me wonder if the relic could be biological in nature. Guardian, as you prepare for your next voyage, know that I will continue to assist in the conflict against Aramis. I had words with Mizraxgel concerning his recent behavior. He explained he wished to shelter me from the violence displayed by Aramis Gel's crews. I said one does not protect by forbidding exposure. There is no safety in ignorance. I told him plainly that I will not be sheltered. As the Guardian Credo states, devotion inspires bravery, bravery inspires sacrifice. The unspoken line that follows is why I will remain on the radio. Now, we must continue to pursue the relics Aramis seeks. Board your ship and let us begin. Probably figured the Vex would scare away any treasure hunters. With the Light Bearer beside us, we have nothing to fear. Savathun made that a less distinguished title than it used to be. Our ship's servitor will bolster your allies' defenses. My splicer gauntlet tongues. Something interferes with the drill. Seek it out. Our crew servitor answers your call. Our cargo holds looking pretty bare, hero. Let's get that treasure hall rolling. They are only wretches, but the skip blades are as brave as any. Unseen opponents hit their hour drill. Dispatch them. Your crewmate gives you power. 
Our guardian. Well done, Guardian. I do not wish to quell this victory, but we must not linger here. Ever since we dispelled the Endless Night, I feel an unease near the Vex domains. Uh-oh. The Vex put a target on your back? I'm afraid so. Splicers are no longer welcome here. Well, a hero's only as strong as his enemies. That makes you a certified superstar. Hey, hero. Spider said he needed my help again. I said no such thing. The Guardian has proven quite efficient at removing these thorns from our sides. Well, this thorn's got teeth. Lots of them. Big and pointy. An elixir obsessed with those disgusting cabal war beasts goes by the name Alax. Hey, war beasts ain't so bad if you remember to feed them. Oh, I've seen what they eat. Too much trouble for the cost. Something's wrong. Whoever came through here cleaned this place out. <sighs> Another gang. Scarves bold enough to assault a hideout for its treasures. Nah, this outfit is organized, efficient, and almost as deadly as the Guardian. I wonder if our pirate lord is still with us. <sighs> tried to take that pirate lord down first. They didn't get the relic. But these interlopers managed to take out half this crew. Uh, did they want the relic? Or just a little bloodshed? Uh, whoever they are, they made powerful enemies. Yeah, us too. I have just spoken with Drifter. He says another force assaulted Aramis's pirates. If you and Aramis are not the only ones searching for the relics, I fear this is beyond my control. I believed we could collect the relics and contain the power, keep them safe. A guardian there are Details I have kept from you. From everyone. I must ask for the gift of your patience. I will find an answer. I will. Trust me for a moment longer. I beg you. Shall we make a deal? What catches your eye? Sword with pirates now, and fight alongside. 
to Aramis. She invoked a ritual from the old crews, words with empty hands. It is a type of parley where no violence is permitted. Ido believes Aramis will follow the rules of her people. I am not so trusting. Should Aramis accept, I would ask that you accompany us. In the meantime, continue the fight. This may be a ploy, and we must not be fooled. I hope that she ignores Ido's request, but if she does not, know this. Aramis does nothing that is not to her benefit. A word can do more damage than a blade, and Aramis is skilled at wielding both. this whole time. Now let's sniff out this loot, hero. Your crewmate gives you power, Guardian. Looks like someone's trying to stop our drill. Get out there and wreck their jammers. Our ship's servitor will bolster your allies' defenses. I know a mark when I see one. Bag that cabal! Our little expedition has attracted some attention. Hurry up with that treasure haul! Uh, 
Those crazy wretches are on their way in. I love those guys. They are only wretches, but the skiff blades are as brave as any. Watching you snatch up that loot reminded me of Gambit. I never get tired of watching people bank those moats. You know, Drifter, with the armies you assembled for Gambit, you could be very political. I leave all that to the Vanguard. I ain't the man to tell anyone what to do. Of course. But the time may come for you to step up. tradition. Aramis Skell agreed to parlay. You cannot lose faith in the old ways now. This is a mistake, I don't. Aramis listens to one voice only, and it is not ours. I may draw power from the voice in the darkness. But I am an Elixni Kell, and I fight for the liberation of our people. The true Kell serves their house. You serve only the witness. And who do you serve? I agreed to meet with Elixni, not a light bearer. The Guardian is here for your protection. Aramiskel, as scribe of House of Light, I feel compelled to tell you. There is another force searching for these relics. I see. And who are these new meddlers, exactly? One of many you have wronged, perhaps. We did not identify the force, but they dispatched your... associates with ease. We have in them a common enemy. We have always had a common enemy. Abandon your pathetic attempts to appease your oppressors. Join me. Together we'll use these relics to achieve true freedom for the Elixni. No. The 
the relics pose too great a threat. They cannot fall to warmongers like you. None know of the destructive power better than you, Mizrax. What do you mean? It was centuries ago. I am no longer that person. No, you are the same as ever. I want to know the truth. Will I have to hear it from her? Centuries ago, when the Elixni first came to this system, when your father was just a hatchling, our people had nothing. So, when they discovered Nezarek, disciple of the Witness, entombed in the Lunar Pyramid, they harvested its dark power for themselves and for the future of our people. Mizrax inherited one of these relics, and its power ensnared him. He sought more, no matter the cost. But the more his crew had, the less they shared. That became the way of things. Elixni turned against Elixni, and friend turned against friend. Over time, the relics of Nezarek were separated and scattered across the galaxy. Their influence faded, but the stains of their power endure. Mizrax fled from the butchery he was born into. He claims he has changed and now lives a life of piety. But no matter how he tries to bury his past with selfish displays of generosity and scraps of stolen wisdom, Mizrax will always be a liar, a thief, and a killer. Open your eyes, young scribe. Every light casts a shadow. I don't. Please. Let me explain. Mizrak Skell of House Light. My father, a murderer, and a liar. Learning the truth is difficult, but the sharpest pain comes from the fact that he didn't tell me earlier. I was aware he had a past, but in a way, Aramis Skell showed me who my father is today. And who he sees when he looks at me. He must think I am unable to understand, or he doesn't care whether or not I do. I am either underestimated or dismissed. And I could take only one lesson from this. My own father does not want me to know him. Our priorities have not changed. We must stop Aramis from claiming the relics of Nezarek. I will not place my own feelings above our mission. I will not become the hypocrite that my father is.
What can a simple operator like me do for the hero of the Vanguard? What catches your eye? you parlayed with Aramis, and she hit you with some heavy truths. Mithrax used to be a bad guy. Can you believe it? <laughs> Wait till I tell Crow. <laughs> I know Ido's pissed because her dad didn't tell her about it. Makes sense, but it don't shake me. Mithrax, he's just a fella who done something he ain't proud of. And that I understand. Which reminds me. Long time back, I found myself at the fourth tomb of Nezarek. Recognized these relics the first time I saw one. That's why I needed you involved. Ain't nobody I trust with that kind of power more than you. Well, after Eris. She gave me some ideas that might help Mithrax use these things for good. Whatever he does will show us just what kind of person he is. If we can stop Aramis from finding the last few relics and killing us all. So, uh, get on that.
comes after my goods. Was Brisk medicine? Well, he was lucky to have lived this long. Personally, I stay away from these loose of time. I don't trust anyone that loyal. Clear them out. So, our enemy finally steps into the light, so to speak. The Lucent Hive is searching for the relics, and Aramis's crews are overwhelmed. Huh. How interesting. These relics just became more valuable. Demand, it seems, is very high. Luck was on our side this time. But now these pests stand in our way. Oh, how unfortunate for them. <laughs> I wanted to speak with you, Jermaine. Oh, what kind of books you been reading? It's been Drifter for a long while now. Drifter, then. You have kept secrets from us since the beginning. It is unkind to withhold knowledge. Unkindness was never my aim. Apologies, sister. Accepted. Do you have any insight as to why the Lucent Hive are interested in the relics? Power is freedom, and everybody's chasing it. From the biggest freaky moth monster to the lowest space pirate. <clears throat> but while the Lucent Hive are loyal to Savathun, the pirates enjoy a startling degree of freedom already. They are not constrained by office or honor. They are ruled only by their own desires. Yeah, I might look that way from the outside, but they've got to fight for everything they get. That's just survival. A meal and a bed that don't come at the end of a blade? That's freedom. You are drawing a comparison. Me? <laughs> look, I get it. Walking away from folks can feel like freedom. If no one's relying on you, there's no one to disappoint. No one to be disappointed by. Now you are speaking of Mizraxkel. I do not judge him for who he was, but he... He treated me like... Like a hatchling. Can't really blame him for not wanting to discuss it. Shame's a hard thing to shake. Harder if you have to share it. You are saying I should forgive him. That's your call, sister. I'm just saying, I get it. Aramis Skell seeks freedom for our people. But her freedom is vengeful. She wishes to be free from her shame. She will sacrifice Elixni lives in its pursuit. And it will never end. Thank you, Drifter. <laughs> you know... I don't hear that enough. <laughs> I greet you, Guardian. I wished to speak to you earlier, but I did not have the words. I will not apologize, as I believe the secrets of my old life were mine to keep. But I do regret. I am ashamed of my cruelty. Of the things I did. The people I hurt. I thought I left it behind. But the old Mithrax is still within me. And now he has hurt my daughter. I have hurt my daughter. I must set it right. I was a killer. But I am a kill. I will prove
prove to you which title I deserve. What catches your eye? What can a simple operator like me do for the hero of the Vanguard? Let's take a look.
Let's see what we can do. Let's see what we can do. Let's get started. Oliva's got something special for you. Glad I caught you, Guardian. I didn't want you setting off after Aramis without a little warning first. What's that look? You don't survive as long as me without being able to smell trouble. And honestly, kid, you stink of it. You've been cutting a swath through those pirates out there, but don't get complacent. Watch your opponent, but watch your back, too. You're going after chunks of a dead disciple of the witness, and you've almost got them all. That's some serious juju. The stakes are high. That's when folks tend to get unpredictable. An Alexei skilled in scrapworking. Her name is Ethix. I have engaged with her before. I doubt her tactics have changed. She hides behind traps and shanks and believes herself clever. She will not face you if she has a choice. Leave her none. and end her life. The old crews fear you. Fear us. They know they cannot stand in our way. Huh. Looks like Captain Kells found his inner pirate again. Perhaps it is what I am. And Aramis speaks the truth. Hey, now, I didn't say that. What's that Ido said to me? Aramis will fight forever to get rid of her shame. Maybe you did that for a while, too. But then you made a safe place for the Elixni. That's what Aramis wants, and she'll never get there. What we do now matters more than who we were. The Drifter speaks kind truths. Miserax thanks you. Good of you to visit, Captain. Seems like only yesterday I loaned you my ship. And now you're known across the system. Flashy. Not my style. It's safer in the shadows. I learned that long ago. From a handsome young fellow named Rakis. He served the old crews for a time. Got double-crossed. Spent the rest of his life running. Eventually, someone claimed the bounty on poor Arrakis. He called himself... Spider. <laughs> Savvy? Cast in a past, bought a future. 
walked away reborn and never looked back. Like you guardians do. Like my dear boy Crow. Like me, Shrax. Pretending his old life never happened. Oh, he's changed a bit over the years. But the old fury is still inside him. Somewhere. It's best he not forget that. If you're eager to deal death, I'm happy to help. What can a simple operator like me do for the hero of the Vanguard? between Aramis and her crews. I hope this means the worst is behind us. I did find, however, a transmission from Aramis to Idol. It was embedded 
in an unsecured scribe log. You may have heard it. I do not know what Aramis gains in speaking with Idar. We know the ship stealer only acts to her own benefit. But Ido shuns me. She studies the coordinates of the pirate layers without my assistance. I have never seen her behave this way. I cannot place blame solely on Aramis's influence. My actions pushed Ido away, though I meant only to protect her. She will see that in time. She must. Unless she has already made her choice. We must end this now, before something happens that cannot be undone. Claim the final reliquary and finish this conflict. May the light provide.
So, <laughs> let me get this straight. Mithrax has Aramis at the end of his sword, and then... nothing? I mean, nothing? Huh. I thought that guy still had some mean in him. Guess I was wrong. I was right about you, though. Gotta hand it to you, kid. You did a hell of a job out there. Drove Aramis off, stopped whatever plan the witness had, and brought home all the pieces of Nezarek. Not bad at all. Mithrax and Ido have the relics now. Don't know what those things can actually do, but if anyone can figure it out, it'd be them. Hope it's something good. Yep, nothing for you to do now but lay back in that big old pile of pirate treasure you got. You deserve it. And don't worry about giving me my cut, Captain. It just felt nice to be a good guy again. <laughs> Trust. Shall we make a deal? Let's make a deal.
is Misrax, and I require your assistance. I am close to a breakthrough with the relics of Nazarek, but I must concentrate, and there are civic duties that cannot be neglected. I must ask that you work alongside someone with experience managing a community. All right, Miss Rex Kettler. I'll take it from here. Guardian, you claim piles of valuables from the pirates. Now it's time to put it all to good use. We're asking the whole Vanguard to collect treasure from around the system and bring it back here. Miss Rex has trusted me to allocate the funds to improve the last city. Starting with the Elixnik Order. <laughs> he knows I've got a hand for business. I think we can make this place sparkle. But only if we all chip in. You get me? Teamwork, Guardian. Don't be selfish now. Bring me everything you can get your hands on. donations to good use. There is justice in using treasure stolen by Aramis's pirates to improve our lives here. Somehow, I think even Aramis herself would approve. Ah. This fills me with hope. May this be but the first of many improvements.
forced Alex Lee to undergo Vanguard security training. Yes, there was some unrest when Igora first welcomed us here. But this is about more than security. The Alex Lee are being accepted by the tower. The hatchlings and children of the city now see human and Alex Lee faces protecting them. May they serve with pride. into a more agreeable state. And Osiris, my phoenix, who broke time itself to bring me to his side, awoke. As he recovered, Osiris would tell us how the energy opened his mind. Let him remember Sabathun's thoughts and fears as if they were his own. He would tell us about power she knew of, a secret hidden away on Neptune. Yes, he would explain all of it. But when he first opened his eyes, his words were on. Saint, my love, 
That was all. And that was enough.